instead of being grown for food. Or other byproducts, ornamental plants are grown for decoration. You can grow ornamental plants in a flower bed, shape them into a hedge, or put them in a bright apartment window. Ornamental plants can also occur naturally and improve the landscape, but they are most frequently intentionally planted for their aesthetic appeal. Ornamental plants have a few less obvious uses in addition to their most obvious use, which is for aesthetic purposes. Ornamental plants are used to beautify the environment in landscapes and throughout the home. A large, tropical plant in a living room adds a splash of color while softening the harsh lines of furniture and architectural design. Colorful flowering ornamental plants contrast with the browns and greens found in nature. Roses Roses are one of the most widely grown flowering plants. Roses are easy to grow and come in a variety of colors and produce a large number of fragrant flowers. Roses are also available in nearly every color imaginable. Roses are classified into two types, hybrid tea roses and shrub roses. Shrub roses are less common than hybrid tea roses. Both types of roses are simple to cultivate. Because their blooms last longer than shrub roses, hybrid tea roses are frequently used for cut flowers. Shrub roses are typically grown in full sun with well-drained soil. Roses can be grown as a board plant, a sidewalk plant, or in flower beds and pots. Pothos Pothos, Epipremnum aureum, an easy care houseplant with stunning foliage, is distinguished by large, beautiful, showy leaves. It cascades like a waterfall from hanging baskets, or grows upright if supported. Give your pothos plenty of water, and a spot in the sun, or bright light. Acolypha wilkesiana Acolypha wilkesiana, also known as the copperleaf plant, has a captivating beauty that comes in a variety of colors. This ornamental plant thrives in full sun because the light enhances the beauty of its leaves. However, copperleaf plants can also be grown in partial sun and look beautiful. Its oval and heart-shaped leaves are visually appealing. Water this regularly, and you will have a beautiful ornate plant to adorn your home. Silver Nerve Plant One of the best evergreen ornamental garden plants, Silver Nerve Plant has deep green leaves with fine veining throughout. These vein tints can range from white, silver, to green, pink, etc., with that as their focal point. No matter where they are placed in the display, the leaf's size and majestic presence will draw attention. Desert Rose North Africa is the home of the desert rose. It has small pink or white flowers on stems that can grow up to 1 meter, 3 feet, tall. The desert rose thrives in hot climates with plenty of sunlight. It is low maintenance and produces a large number of flowers. Desert roses look great planted along walkways, fences, and borders. Lavender Another plant you should have in your small garden is lavender. Even though lavender can be used to make oils and decorate food, it is considered an ornamental garden plant due to its ability to adapt and grow in any garden, container, or otherwise. It will also scent your outdoor space and attract many birds and insects, creating a natural atmosphere. Amaryllis The amaryllis, also known as Hippiastrum hybrida, will disprove your belief that bulb plants do best when planted outdoors. Red, salmon, orange, pink, and multicolored options are available. The amaryllis, which is sold as potted flowering plants, starts to bloom at the end of the year keeps doing so through the start of summer. At that point, dig up the bulb, keep it dry, and cool for six weeks, then plant it again to start the show over. Oglionema Brilliant Do you want to decorate your home but also wish that it contains some goodness? You are fortunate. Additionally, the Oglionema Brilliant plant purifies the air. This plant has vibrant leaves and has an amazing appearance. Oglionema Brilliant can give your home an exotic look if given enough light and water. Fiber Optic Grass Plant Although it has the appearance of grass, Fiber Optic Grass Plant is actually an ornamental member of the sedge family that blooms all year in warm climates or in a sunny window. 
The plant's long, thin blades are tipped with tiny terminal flower heads that resemble fiber-optic novelty lamps. Thyme Western Asia and Southern Europe are the native home of thyme. It has fragrant flowers and leaves that smell wonderful when crushed. A hardy perennial, thyme grows best in arid, sunny climates. It requires regular watering and good drainage. Both seeds and divisions can be used to multiply this plant. Although there are many different kinds of thyme plants, English thyme is the most popular type. Marigold Marigolds are colorful and simple to grow. Yellow, gold, red, and copper are a few examples of these. Marigolds have existed since the time of ancient Egypt. They adorned graves with their flowers. Today, marigolds are frequently utilized in landscaping and gardening projects. They can withstand drought and are very simple to maintain. If your garden receives a lot of direct sunlight, you might want to grow marigolds in shady areas like under a tree. You need to be patient with these flowers because they know when to bloom in the late summer. Silver Mist Consider growing ornamental grass indoors for something unique and magical. One to take into account is the Silver Mist Mondo Grass, Ophiopagon, which has delicate foliage in emerald and silver tones. Silver mist grass grows up to 10 inches tall when grown in a container. Keep the plant in direct, bright sunlight. And only water it when the soil becomes dry. Agave Americana Agave Americana, also called the century plant because it only blooms once every 100 years, improves any landscape with its lovely long leaves. The Greek word for agave has an admirable literal meaning. And it's interesting to see how accurately this plant embodies that meaning. This succulent plant, which requires little water and light to embrace your house with beauty and positivity, requires a sizable space, either outdoors or indoors. Snake plant. Snake plant, also known as mother in law's tongue, is an excellent ornamental plant for a shady porch. The plant has thick, textured leaves and a sword shape that spirals slightly down the length. Because the plant can grow up to one meter long, it is best to keep it in a sturdy pot. Lilies Lilies are frequently associated with the arrival of spring. They are, however, an excellent choice for fall and winter. Lilies are ideal for container gardening because their roots do not spread widely. The majority of lily varieties are fragrant and have large blooms. Oriental lilies, Easter lilies, lily of the valley, and tiger lilies are some common varieties. All of these varieties are lovely and will brighten up your garden. Purple, red, and pink are some of the most popular lily colors. These plants will also attract a large number of pollinators, such as birds and bees, who are looking for nectar. Mint Mint leaves smell strongly of menthol. As a result, mint is widely used in both cooking and medicine. It is also used in the production of mouthwash and toothpaste. This plant is also a great mosquito repellent to have in your garden. Mint plants thrive in conditions of high humidity and cool temperatures. They can be grown both inside and outside. If you want to grow your own mint, keep it separate from other plants that may compete for nutrients. However, be cautious because this plant is considered a weed because it spreads quickly. As a result, it's best to keep this plant contained. Flowering Flamingo Flamingo flowers are distinguished from other flowers by their bright red, waxy bracts, and spikes of spathe. They are excellent indoor plants. Flowering flamingos, also called anthurium, have tiny flowers on their spathes that eventually turn into bright red berries. The plants can be kept in excellent condition quite easily. Occasionally mist the lance-shaped bracts with water. And use a damp sponge to remove dust. Dianthus This beautiful flowering plant has lovely foliage that fits in any setting. Its vivid pink flowers will fill your home with a delightful scent. This ornamental plant will bloom to its fullest potential in full to partial sun. And well-drained soil. Dianthus, a real charmer, rise on thin stems, giving them a distinctive appearance. Put it on your center table to give your living room some style. 
String of Pearls A trailing succulent plant called String of Pearls has delicate tendrils of round beads. This plant should definitely be on your list if you're looking for the best ornamental garden plants because hanging baskets are a wonderful way to display them. They can withstand drought and grow several feet beyond the edge of the plant. Rosemary A bushy, evergreen shrub with a 3-meter height potential is rosemary, 10 feet. It will blossom with lovely blue flowers that are delicate. The leaf's oil content makes them useful for both cooking and medicine. Another attribute of rosemary is its potent aroma. It can be grown in a garden or in a container. Rosemary needs frequent watering and is best in dry, sunny environments. It is one of the simplest plants to care for, though. African Violets It's difficult to find someone who likes African Violets, St. Paulia. Most owners are devoted to the compact, free-flowering plant with velvety leaves and vibrant flowers. If you like it, choose a color, white, purple, pink, lavender, or wine, place it in filtered light, and watch it bloom year-round with minimal care. Miniature Rose Roses are beautiful, vibrant plants that make excellent ornamental plants. A miniature version of it sounds adorable. The Miniature Rose, also known as the Button Rose, is an antique plant with exquisite petals that enchants the surrounding area with its aroma. With enough natural light and water, this stunning beauty can give your home a classy look. Peace Lily Large flowering plants like the peace lily are wonderful presents for loved ones. One of the most popular indoor plants, it has thick, glossy leaves and flamboyant white blooms in the shape of arums. The lovely ornamental plant is also valued for its abilities to purify the air. Sage Sage belongs to the mint family. It has fragrant leaves with essential oils in them. Sage is frequently used to season food and beverages. It also has a reputation for being medicinal because it can fight infections and relieve pain. Additionally, it is said to enhance focus and memory. Sage can be grown both inside and outside. It prefers warm temperatures and bright light. During dry spells, it requires routine watering. Sage comes in a variety of hues, including blue, white, and purple. Bromeliads. Each me, Neoregelia, and Guzmania are just a few of the many genera that contain the lovely foliage plants known as bromeliads. Their strappy leaves come in a variety of colors, including reds, greens, purples, oranges, and yellows. Some even have bands, stripes, or spots on them. They develop in rosettes, creating an urn, or water-collecting cup-shaped central structure. From the center of this cup, tall, brilliant bract spikes resemble bromeliad blossoms. Bromeliads receive their food and nutrients from rain in the wild, but using fast-draining potting soil indoors is preferable. Calanco You need a showstopper for your ideal garden. And calanco, with its vivid pink leaves and plantlets that resemble butterflies, is the perfect choice. You will fall in love with this queen of charm after just one glance. With little water and light, calanco can be kept indoors as an ornamental plant. It requires little work to make your house more beautiful. Chinese Money Plant Chinese money plants are known to draw wealth, luck, and prosperity. Your plant will produce more wealth the healthier it is. The Chinese money plant has upright stems and round, coin-shaped leaves. It is a strong, decorative plant that shines in small pots and thrives in direct, bright light. It also goes by the name Friendship Plant. The Chinese money plant lowers stress and anxiety because it promotes a calming environment. This is the main justification for why keeping a Chinese money plant around is so restorative. Your senses may experience pure magic as a result. Basil Popular kitchen herb basil gives many dishes a fresh flavor. Its leaves taste and smell sweet. Basil can flourish in any environment and is simple to grow. Like all herbs, basil needs to be protected from the sun. It can be raised in beds or pots. It can either be started from seed 
or planted directly into the ground. There are many different basil plants to grow, each with their own hues. And aromas. Lemon basil. And purple basil are two of the varieties. Fiddle leaf figure. A tall fiddle leaf fig, Ficus lorata, with large, leathery leaves can instantly make a room feel different. And refreshed. The bright green, dinner plate sized leaves have been carved into fiddle shapes. Give your little tree plenty of light. And keep its soil moist but never wet. Poinsettia. Poinsettia is a religious plant. Poinsettia, also known as the Christmas flower, is a beautiful plant with multicolored flowers. It is not difficult to grow. And blooms without any effort. The lush petals of this flowering plant give it an exotic appearance. With a poinsettia, you will not only bring an ornamental plant into your home, but also the gift of tranquility. Air plant. There are numerous types of air plants. They typically have gray or green blades and grow to only a few inches in length. These ornamental garden plants, as the name implies, do not require soil and can be suspended in glass globes, beds of dry pebbles, shells, barks, and so on. Tulips. Tulips are simple to grow and require little care. These flowers can be grown either in containers or directly in the ground. Planting the bulbs can be done at any time of year. When planting, make sure they get plenty of sunlight. Tulips with single or double blooms are available. Tulips with single flowers are more compact than those with double flowers. Tulips with double flowers are typically larger and have more petals. These flowers are known for their vibrant and eye-catching colors, which will stand out in your garden. Tulips typically bloom once the weather begins to warm, and there is no longer any threat of frost. Purple Heart Plants Purple Heart Plants, Tridiscantia pallida, are an exceptionally ornamental houseplant due to their lush, purple, lance-shaped leaves. Plant this exotic beauty in a hanging basket and allow the foliage to cascade gracefully over the container. Then, in the summer, tiny pink three-petaled blossoms appear in the leaf axils. They provide a stunning contrast to the deep foliage that draws everyone's attention. Only water when the soil is completely dry. Water Bamboo Because they are thought to bring good fortune, health, wealth, prosperity. And positivity, water bamboo are among the most affordable online plants that are frequently given as gifts. They are two to seven layer bamboo plants, also known as lucky bamboo. Daffodils People love to grow daffodils as ornamental plants. They are among the first springtime blooms to appear. Daffodils are perennial plants that prefer moist soil to thrive. Although they tolerate some shade, they prefer full sun. When the weather begins to warm up, is when you should plant daffodils. You can purchase pre-planted bulbs. Or start seeds indoors. Simply affix the bulbs to the ground once you've received them. There are upright and semi-upright options available. While semi-upright varieties have fewer leaves, upright varieties typically have more foliage. Daffodils can be identified by their bright yellow center and delicate white petals. Another hardy plant, they will bloom in the spring to brighten up your garden. Syngonium potophyllum white butterfly. Syngonium potophyllum's butterfly wing like leaves in green and cream speak volumes about its beauty. This easygoing plant belongs to the climber family, which makes it ideal for decoration. It can be balanced on a tabletop by a fancy stick with its leaves protruding upwards. Bonsai. A bonsai tree is not a dwarf tree. It's a full-size tree that's been pruned to look like a miniature. The idea behind this ancient art is to keep the trees as small as possible while retaining their natural shapes. You're not alone if you think bonsai are always tiny trees with fragrant flowers. This, however, is a common misconception. As bonsai, you can also choose from a wide range of fruit trees. If you decide to use fruit trees as bonsai, keep in mind that they will require more care than full-size fruit trees. Onion Plants Onions come in a variety of sizes and shapes and are simple to grow. They do, however, come in a variety of colors, such as green, white, orange, and purple, 
A stunning purple flower will bloom if you allow some of the onions to continue to sprout. Onion plants are also very simple to grow and care for. Additionally, the onions produce taste fantastic and give your dishes more flavor. Bunny Ear Cactus A Mexican cactus with clump-shaped circular pads is called a bunny ear cactus, also known as a polka dot cactus, or an angel's wings. These two to three foot tall succulent ornamental garden plants have short glockids, which are whitish brown prickles. They typically produce globular purple fruits and creamy yellow flowers in the summer. Lilac A traditional ornamental plant is the lilac. In addition to white, they also come in blue, pink, lavender, and purple hues. They also smell incredibly sweet, which everyone enjoys the smell of. Lilacs are simple to grow and only need to be watered occasionally. They should be grown in full sun and prefer well-drained soil. Try cultivating lilacs in pots if you're looking for something distinctive. If you want to use them as a centerpiece, planting them in groups is a good idea. By removing the stems before the flowers fully bloom, you can also use them to cut flowers. In addition, pollinators are drawn to lilacs and will visit your plant. Orchids When you think of indoor flowering plants, orchids are probably the first thing that come to mind because of their reputation for being fickle. But with the right orchid care advice, they are actually not too difficult to grow. Use the proper soil and water the plant only after the soil becomes dry. American Wisteria One of the simplest plants to grow is Wisteria. Their vines have a 30-foot maximum height. They thrive in both temperate and tropical climates and are indigenous to North America. Hummingbirds and butterflies are also known to be drawn to these plants. They also provide food for a variety of animals, such as deer, rabbits, and squirrels. They produce tiny flower clusters that are dark blue or purple. Then, these flowers mature into acorns. Although wisteria prefers full sun, if you live in a hot climate you should plant them in partial shade. This plant can be trained to take the shape and grow in the location you want. Petunias Petunias bloom all summer long and are simple to grow. Any landscape would benefit from the color that petunias bring. They are available in a variety of hues, from red to pink to purple. Petunias are also incredibly simple to care for. All they require is regular irrigation and every two weeks of fertilization. Additionally, other insects like butterflies find them to be very alluring. You can grow them in pots if you don't have a lot of room. Alternatively, you could grow them in hanging baskets. However, they are a tough plant that can withstand any environmental conditions. Caladium Caladiums are one of the most well-liked foliage ornamental plants for shady or semi-shady gardens because of their lush, multicolored leaves, many of which are larger than the palm of your hand. With eye-catching combinations of green, white, pink, and red, each leaf appears to have been hand-painted. They can thrive in hot, muggy weather, under the right conditions, they can also be grown as houseplants, or as summer bulbs in more temperate climates. These exotic shade dwellers produce a magnificent display that rivals that of any flowering plant with a little pampering. Geranium These plants are available at most nurseries. Because they are so simple to grow and take up so little space, geraniums are one of the best plants to grow when you first start gardening. Additionally, they produce an abundance of flowers, which makes them perfect for luring bees and butterflies, additionally providing you with a pleasant scent for your garden. Although they will tolerate some shade, they prefer full sun. Geraniums can grow in almost any soil type once they are established. Keep in mind that the roots prefer moist soil, so keep the potting mix just slightly damp. Hydrangeas Hydrangea varieties are a mainstay of summer gardens, but if they're potted, these shrubs can also brighten a spot in your home. They do best in full sun and moist soil. Mast advises placing the pot in a sink or bucket with 2 to 3 inches of water so the soil can absorb the moisture through the drainage hole for about 45 minutes if you notice the bloom drooping a little. Let the water drain, then place the saucer back in the sun. Spider plant 
For those who are just starting to learn how to grow their own plants, spider plants are a great option. The care of spider plants is incredibly simple. And they develop quickly. Because they don't care what kind of soil they are planted in, they are also excellent for beginners. They are capable of dealing with both dry and wet conditions. The name of these plants comes from the way their leaves resemble spiders. They also produce lovely flowers in a variety of colors, including yellow, orange, and red. Additionally, they can withstand temperatures of between minus 10 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The majority of people will grow these plants indoors, but if you prefer, you can grow them outdoors in your garden. Chrysanthemums If you're looking for a simple indoor flowering plant, chrysanthemums might be the plant for you. The only additional care they need is to make sure the pot has good drainage and to keep the soil moist. Lantana Popular flowering shrubs like lantanas grow well outside in hanging baskets or as ground cover. They require only regular watering and full sun to thrive. They are also very low maintenance. They can withstand extreme heat and drought. Clusters of small, vividly colored blooms, which can be white, yellow, orange, pink, purple, red, or blue, will be produced by lantana plants. You will see two or more colors in each bloom, depending on the color, making these flowers very attractive to the eye. These blossoms will remain in bloom all summer long. It's also very simple to grow lantanas. All you have to do is regularly fertilize it and give it a lot of water. Depending on the weather, it might bloom every year or every two years. Although the foliage doesn't smell the best, the blooms will draw butterflies. Zygo cactus. This indoor blooming plant, also referred to as the Christmas cactus, has vibrantly colored blooms and a succulent feel. A great choice to put in a plant hanger. Or on a shelf, the zygos are unusual cacti with long, segmented vines that will spill over the pot. They don't need much water. And can withstand full sunlight. If you like the video, please like this video. And subscribe our channel. And don't forget to press bell button below this video, to get future video updates.